Listen, man. Y'all ever just get tired of fighting all the time? Like, marriage is work. Like, real work. You know what I'm saying? I've always been the type of person that's been real and try to be real with everybody. Um, so I appreciate all y'all hitting us up, saying, you know, we love your marriage and love. Y'all love the love that y'all see, but what y'all don't know, man, it's the word. We fight every single day, man. Every single day. Bruh. <laughs>
But I didn't. I was kind of scared to get married again because of the fact that I had trust issues. Um, nothing pertained to her, but it was just the trust issues that I know the seeds that I had sown. You know what I'm saying? So I knew what possibly was going to come back and I had to reap. So I'm like, nah, I ain't trying to do that, bro. I'm running from my issues. So um, God told me, nah, you, you, know, you, can, you can trust her. You know what I'm saying? You're safe with her. <laughs> That's what he said. I, I, every once in a while, I'm like, you sure know? <laughs> like, we need to talk. You know what I'm saying? But nah, oh, just dealing man. with my issues. Um, I knew coming in that I had trust issues. I knew coming in that I had some anger issues. You know what I'm saying? I knew coming in I had lust issues. Because, come on, being a single man for a while, anybody dealing with that. You know what I'm saying? Women, too, they be trying to front. Women, too. But for real, though, you got to be able to know that and deal with that. So coming in, I know that that's an issue. Um, I asked God, help me to be that husband that you want me to be. Mm -hmm. And so he would give me word on situations. And so I would have to walk that out. And so I would look at it like, all right. I got to deal with this. One, one particular situation um, with anger, he told me, he said, son, whenever you're upset, I want you to find a mirror, right? James talks about the mirror a lot. Um, but this, this is the example that God gave me. He said, son, whenever you are upset or at your angriest point, find a mirror. When you find that mirror, look in it and see if you look like me or do you look like you. Mm. Every time I look just like me, because the Bible said that, that even G Jesus was angry, but he sinned not. Right. So, because he was angry about things of God or pertaining to God. I was angry usually about selfish stuff, um, stuff I just didn't want to do. You know what I'm saying? Flesh issues. You know, that that's really what it always is. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just saying you got to be able to put yourself through the fire, you know, for that marriage, for that relationship. You're looking forward to getting married soon. You got to be able to do that. It's not going to be successful if you don't. You can't put the blame on the other person all the time and be like, oh, okay, well, it's always you. That's that's not it. You gotta be mature at some point. Like, for real. If you want to have something successful, you gotta implement this word that God has given us. And speaking of that, you know, like he just said, you have to implement the word. And yeah. so this, what we're discussing is backed up by the word of God. So, um, I want to go to the scripture real quick. Okay. Alright, so the scripture that... Let's get it. I want to talk about is Galatians 5 and 24 mm -hmm. and um, that scripture in the English Standard Version says and those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires Ooh. so we were talking about um, fighting yourself uh, crucifying the flesh or, or dying daily mm -hmm. to self and that's what the scripture is talking about um, crucifying the flesh with its passions and desires. So those things that we were talking about are passions and desires. You know, yeah. sometimes we desire to be angry because mm -hmm. we feel justified or passions, like he was saying, may, may be surrounded yeah. by lustful things yeah. that the flesh desires. Yeah. And those are the things that we have to crucify. Yeah. You know, we have to, we have to kill them. We have to kill those things yeah. because they affect relationships. They affect our marriages. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, just to back up what we're saying, the Word of God tells us this, that we have to do this. And even even still, like, some things seem right, but you got to try it by the Word. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, a person may say, I just want to be successful. There's nothing wrong with that. It's okay. And the spouse, your wife may be successful. I'm just giving an example here. Your wife may be successful, but you're not. So... You may want to do that to prove to her that you got what it takes to do this or do that. Mm -hmm. Approve to yourself, approve to your family, approve to her family, whatever it is. Well, that's not a godly motive. Right. You, you should want to do great or do well because you want to do well. Period. Yeah. Period. Not to prove it to nobody, not to, because that, that's, a, that's a, a, a thing of vengeance. Right. And you just know to what please I'm God. And just to please God. That, that's what you mm -hmm. should want to be successful in. I'm going to be honest with you. There, there's... Um, there's a saying that I live by now. It's like, learn to be successful in private first. Mm -hmm. Master being successful in your private time. Are you successful in worship? Mm. Are you successful in sacrificing? It's, it's, this may sound silly to some of y'all, but some I like to cook, right? So sometimes if I'm cooking and I might make an omelet and that omelet look perfect. And I might make the other one. That one got a little messed up. You know what I'm saying? Am I going to give her the one that's messed up? I knew you were going to say that. Just being honest. 
you these these are this may sound like small things, but God to do things to test your heart. Man. He always gives me yeah. the perfect omelet. Oh Isn't man, that I got that with nasty omelet. It's the little things though that make the biggest yeah. difference, yeah. you know. You gotta and be able to do the crucify. same for him, you know. She'll give me the nasty omelet. <laughs> Off top. Kiana, when I made that omelet the other day, that the one that looked one of them looked retarded. Did I not give you the pretty one? I had a retarded omelet. He did not. I gave him the pretty omelet. I took the retarded omelet. But they both taste good. Let's get that straight. They both <laughs> taste good. One was just ugly. Yeah, one was just a little... Uh, a little rough. You know what yeah. I'm mean? saying? Yeah. Yeah, one, I don't know what was going on with it. I mean, it just didn't fully... It didn't work out. You know, like Luther Curl, they never... It just ain't never really do right. So, yeah, we're going to do it like that. that. That's really what it was, though. But, you know, you've got to be able to put your marriage through that fire. But first, you got to put yourself through the fire. Mm -hmm. And you can't be willing to. Here's the thing. Um, I know that another issue I dealt with. I can't believe I had all these issues. Hmm. <laughs> no, not you. Exactly. Hmm. exactly. No, but I, another issue I had was uh, rejection. So if it was an issue pertaining to feeling like less than or feeling unappreciated or something like that. I knew that I, I I battled with rejection, so it was no trying to make her look like she was the one. If I know that it was a rejection-based issue, it was me, and so it was like, okay, let me just do the work. God, I need you. Um, God said something to me so powerful just a couple of weeks ago, and I want to share this with y'all. Hopefully, it'll help somebody. He said, a mature man or woman could be either can stay in the middle of a heated argument or right after a heated argument. Lord, show me what's wrong with me. Mm. Show me what's wrong. Not not what's wrong with them. Because we, if we pray about it at all, <laughs> we'll go to God and say, God, see, this person right here, my, my spouse is a woman that you gave me. Like Adam <laughs> said, this woman that you gave me. There's an issue there. But you should be able to say, God, I need you to help me with me. Right. Just, just being honest, man. You got to be able to do that if you want to have a successful marriage. If you want, one thing we always say too. Um, I was just about to say, but I said people might be like, "What the heck is that?" Um, if I'm going somewhere, she's going somewhere, whatever. We have this thing. We you we used to always say it, but you know, guard us. Guard us. So if you not don't guard your marriage, mm -hmm. it's your choice to guard it. If you don't guard your marriage, that's how the enemy gets in. Mm -hmm. He roams around like, as a roaring lion. Seeking whom he may devour. May I tear your marriage down? No, you may not. No, you may not. And like you were saying, guard us. You know, because when we're apart from each other, you're separated. You know, the enemy is very crafty. He's always on his job. We have to always be always. on ours. And so he will send people. He'll send yeah. someone to try to talk to Keon. No, we're married. Someone to I'm try married. to talk to me. I'm like, I'm married. And you know this. And it just constantly yeah. is ringing in our head, yeah. guard us, guard yeah. us. You know, and, and you know the like, enemy, um, the Bible says he went away for a more opportune time, right? Mm -hmm. He is great at that. He is very crafty at his job. One particular uh, day, we were arguing, right? I went to the mall. I said, I'm just going to go to the mall. I'm in the mall. I said, I'm going to sit there and read. I'm sitting there. I got my Bible out, blah, blah, blah. This officer walked up to me, right? Officer, female, sitting there reading. Walked up and said, you like you had a bad argument. You all right? You want to talk about it? <laughs> Come on, man. I said, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. You sure? I'm good, bro. <laughs> I'm good. See, I mean, those are the things, the opportune times. Right. The times when the devil know when you're upset with your spouse. Right. He's going to send one right there. Boom. There you go. Look right. just like you want her to look, just like you want him to look, whatever. If you like the Rico Suave curly hair dude, whatever, <laughs> it's gonna be just what you want it to be. Just don't take the bait. Don't man. take the bait. Don't man. take the bait. Don't take the bait. You gotta fight you for your marriage. Cause the enemy's always just looking for a place to get a hook in to yep. reel you right back from where you came from. Yeah. And so don't take the bait. You have to keep that in yeah. mind. Guard your marriage. Yeah. Guard us, you know? Yeah. yeah. That should always be in your mind. Mm -hmm. And it's also something that um we do when it comes to uh you ever had that argument i know i know fellas y'all know y'all know you ever had that time when y'all might be talking about something and you just can't come to a head with it you just can't come to terms with it like she wants her way to be right you want your way to be right but it comes to a point where you have to say you know what i forfeit my right 
to being right mm. for the sake of this marriage right now. Ooh. Really, that that's what needs to be done. If you do that, I guarantee you, you'll start getting somewhere with your marriage or with that that particular argument. Isn't it funny the stuff that we argue about can be so petty? You look back and laugh at it because at that moment it seems huge. Mm. When Eve was in the garden, um, Adam and Eve was in the garden. You got to think about it. Now, there's 2,500 different trees on this earth now. I believe, this is my belief, that each one was represented in the garden, right? There's only two in the midst of the garden. The enemy made something so small look so huge mm -hmm. to the point that they forgot about all the provision that God has given, right. and they wanted the one thing that they could not have. So what's the one thing that the enemy is making big to you? It could be your way, your will, your emotions. Mm -hmm. Your the feelings. Eye, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life. What is it? You missing out. Yeah. Think about it. What is he's playing you for some reason. Mm -hmm. How is he playing you? Mm. Can you give up your rights for the sake of your marriage? Yeah. And um, like you said, you can do it as the three R's. Giving up your right to be right for the sake of the relationship. Yeah. Right? Mm hmm Yeah. So that's very important. Very, very, very important. It's something that we all need to do. Forget what you want to do. What you need to do is what's important. And so also along the lines of um, like getting in disagreements or fights with your spouse, um, women, men, both, both parties need to learn that um, as women we want our men to you know, open up to us and, you know, and things like that. So when you have a disagreement and and you truly, okay, say you have a disagreement or the fight and you have, you know, you learn to fight yourself. One thing, and you have to learn to forgive. That's what I'm getting at. It's mm -hmm. a forgiveness factor. So it's very important to forgive, but true forgiveness. And we're not talking about just saying, yeah. I forgive you and then the next argument you're going to bring back up something Come that on. was yeah, discussed I'm, prior. I'm argument. glad we recorded this. Don't, don't be playing in the back with <laughs> as incriminating uh, That's right. That's evidence. Right. But anyway, so forgiveness. True forgiveness is saying that I forgive you and you owe me nothing. Mm. You don't take that whatever it is and just put it aside yeah. to use next time as like some type of incriminating yeah. evidence. Yeah. And we, we're joking, but ladies. Real talk. Fellas, too. I know there's some petty dudes out there. But, ladies, if your man opens up to you, do not take that. It could be something that was very hurtful to him, mm -hmm. something you may play with or whatever. That man might have been holding that thing his whole life. Right. And you can't take it and throw it in his face when you want to just get him back. Mm -hmm. You have to be mature. You can't have a grown-up relationship playing tit-for-tat games as kindergarten. You can't have that. You, If you want that man uh, to be open with you, you got to be able to let him know that he's safe, that right. your ear, that your heart is a safe place okay. for his burden, for his issue, whatever it is. Just being real. Now, that's if you want your marriage secure. You want your marriage faithful, not just in faithful in deeds, but even in thought. Yeah, and safe to discuss everything yeah. because if you – just it only takes one time for you to use something that they shared with you yeah. against them later. Just once. You don't have to worry about them sharing nothing yeah. else with you. I'm telling you. You know, so you never want to close that door. Mm -hmm. You never want to do that. It's only going to hurt the marriage and your relationship. Yeah. So that's that's one important thing. So don't use things back against your spouse. Yeah. If they open up and say, you know, that really bothered me because, you know, when I was younger, blah 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 blah. Don't later on say. Yeah. Well, you know, it's just because, blah, blah, blah. Right. No, he'll never tell you nothing else again. Seriously, seriously, I'm telling you. Um, I, I was going to share some. I, I think I am going to share it. Because here's the thing, and I'm not making an excuse for any man or any woman that does this. But it was once, I'm, I'm, I'm writing a book now, and it was one truth that was revealed to me um, in my prayer time. Um, I'm dealing with it, and I'm writing it, and the Lord said, uh, do you want to know why people that have been faithful for years all of a sudden, we'll cheat. Mm. And, you know, it, it's just like it's nothing. He said, son, it's such an easy fix that even a stranger can scratch the itch. Mm. Now, what, what does that mean? 
it's usually an attention situation or a betrayal of trust. Mm. Just, a, just a listening ear is all that person wanted. A listening ear. Um, didn't have the intention of going out and cheating. Doesn't excuse it, however. Right. But if you can see the issue, why not avoid it? So, I'm just saying, um, like I said, not justifying anything. Right. We all are grown. We all know what we're supposed to be doing. We all took that vow. However, if you see a situation and you can prevent it, why not? Why not? You got to be able to do that, man. You got to be able to do that. So, one tool that can be used to help fight the fight, fight yourself, fight your flesh, crucify the flesh, die daily, however you want to say it. All that. All that. Put together. (laughs) What can we, how do we do this? Okay, you're asking, okay, you hear what you're saying, how do I do this? And then in the heat of me being angry, you know, we having a disagreement. How am I supposed to die to self or crucify my own feelings? What am I supposed to do? All right, here's one thing. Different things work for different people. Mm -hmm. You'll have to find what works best in your marriage and your relationship. It just depends on you both, right? But one thing that can be used is, uh, say, a notebook. Say each of you have a notebook. And when you're angry and you're just not... You're not, you know, you just can't get this thing together with each mm-hmm. other. You're not, I'm not hearing you. You're not hearing me. We're not understanding each other's perspective. So one thing you can do, you have a notebook, right? Once you start to calm down, not like in the heat, yeah, heat please you're going to be it, like please. writing all kind of stuff yeah. in that notebook. Just, yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> like I can't stand him, you know. But as you calm down a bit, yeah. write in your notebook, like write how you're feeling, write how it made you feel, you know, um, just what things that you would like let me let me just interrupt you right there okay not just how you feel because a lot of times people will just say you made me mad by doing this doing oh, that yeah, yeah. No, we're no, not no, talking no, about not like that. that we're talking about maturity here people right so what we mean by right how you feel is you know when when this happened for instance let's say um and this is just an example uh when this happened when you yelled at me this time it reminded me of the time right. when i was younger and this happened I didn't appreciate that. Mm-hmm. So you got to be able to deal with the root of the like situation. Like why? Why do you feel that yeah. way? Yeah, that's that's what we're talking about writing down. And you're looking into yourself. So yes. you're not writing down what you don't like about the other person. Yes. I'm glad you clarified yeah. that. You're writing down like when he said that, this made me feel like this because when I was yeah. younger, this happened and blah, blah, blah. Like that. Not he make me sick. He get on yeah. my nerves. Yeah. Like, no, that's not going to solve anything. Okay. So that's what we're saying, writing down how you feel and where is that feeling coming from. Yeah. This is actually yeah. a reflection of yourself. Yeah. It is outside of the other person. It, absolutely. Okay. So once you do that, you you do that and he does that. Mm-hmm. Both both parties do the same thing. And then once you calm down and you can come together, you exchange notebooks. Yeah. Okay. He's able to read about why you felt that way and maybe learn about more more about you what mm-hmm. this is stemming from what could have happened to you in your past and you know and vice versa mm-hmm. and so by doing that you're a you won you died to self and kind of just cut that argument that was about to yeah. happen you just took care of that but then you're both going to get to the root of what's going on why did this why did this discussion go left and get to the root of it so that discussion that doesn't happen again it won't be a, a repeat yeah. you know they think that happens over and over and over yeah you won't be a repeat offender a repeat yeah. offender yeah because ultimately if you're not growing you're dying you know yeah. so these are just some tools we're going to talk a little bit more about um because somebody you know i, I just said that you know i dealt with rejection i dealt with anger issues a lot of people don't know what they really deal with yeah a lot of people don't know. So we're going to talk about a little bit more about that later in another video. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to start really dealing with something we call soul work. Right? Soul work. Yeah. Soul work is really, we're going to dig into mm-hmm. your issues. And you got to be mature to do this. So right. husband and wife, remember, you're a team. What we're going to do is going to put people together where you're going to be a team. Like you're, you're talking like, okay, we're going to talk to each other. Um, it may go far beyond what you're used to doing. It's okay. Embrace that difference mm-hmm. and talk about it and say, okay, well, but what we're doing is building a team of like, it's your husband and wife. Yeah, you might be a husband and wife for five, ten years. However, they may not be your best friend yet. We like mm-hmm. to say that, but is it true? Is it true? Are you talking to your boys more than you're talking to your wife? If so, that's not your best friend. 
Be real. Um, so we're building it up to where teaching people how to be best friends, mm -hmm. how to hear something I don't want to hear from you. Oh, that's, yeah, that's good yeah. right there. Yeah, here's something I don't want to hear from you because ultimately the Bible says wounds from a friend can be, be trusted. trusted. If wounds from a friend can be trusted, why can't wounds from a spouse be heard, had, developed, loved on? Why not? You know? So we got to be able to say, okay, this is more than my friend. Well, ladies, think about this. If your, if your husband took you to his uh, Christmas, the little job Christmas thing, and he takes you there, and he's like, hey, I want to introduce y'all to my friend. He's like, your friend? Hold on, Glenn. Yes, it'd be a problem. It'd be a problem, right? Mm -hmm. So therefore, with that being said, if that man can't do that, then think about it. The Bible says wounds from a friend can be trusted. Then you should be much greater than a friend. Right. His wounds, the stuff that comes at you to correct you, to comfort you, all of these things should be able to build you up and you should be able to receive it from him knowing that it's coming from love. We are one, so we're not going to hurt each other deliberately. Right. You know, it may not feel good at the moment, but, you know, you, you see me with all these tattoos, they don't feel good at the moment, but I like, like them art. afterwards. Yeah, I like <laughs> the art. So, you know, that's what it is. So, if that, if that is something that I love and I think it, it looks beautiful on me, that's what I think, no matter what you think, it, it's just how I feel about it. So, if I can endure that pain right. to get what I want, then I should be able to endure hurtful words knowing that it's coming from a loving place right so it has to come from a loving place the person who's there you go who's who's you know speaking to you because yeah. you need to make sure your motives are right that you're not trying to hurt the person because hurt people do hurt other people there you go and so you need to make sure that you're really trying to help them because you love them yep that's it so we, we ain't gonna keep y'all too much longer. Yeah. I just we just enjoy doing this, you know. Yeah. And we do apologize because it's been three weeks since we dropped the video. <laughs> Life has been happening. Been busy. I um, mean, I did have a birthday and everything. Yeah, woo, woo, woo. yeah. And so, yeah, even more reason for her to be even more spoiled, right? <laughs> yeah. But um, what we do want to leave y'all with. Um, well, first of all, did you have anything else? No, that's all okay, I have. Okay. Okay. See, see, I'm I'm, I'm being more careful. Hmm. Mwah. Fellas, mm. get like me. No, but what's playing. your motive? Oh, you know the motive. The you know the motive. <laughs> GTD. No, <Nah. laughs> nah, but listen, we're going to leave y'all with a vow. Right? right? So, this is something that husbands say to your wives, wives say to your husbands, not just to say it, mean it. Yes. This is your marriage. You know, you see, you can go to Home Depot or whatever flower shop, I'm not big on flowers or any flower shop that have any type of flowers there and you see them and while you while they're there they may be ten dollars but they're beautiful and you're like wow these are nice and you take them home but they're not going to remain like that if you don't take care of them right right so with that being said your marriage is the same way when you saw her she was beautiful she should be even more beautiful your marriage should be even more beautiful right the, since the day that it became it began should i right. say so it should be even more beautiful because you're adding that water. This is the water. This is the sunlight. This is all yes. of that. So that's it. So the vow, check this out. I'm about to get my Casanova on. Here we go. I should be playing for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Don't sing it. No. <laughs> Don't sing it. All right. Y'all know I'm a cloud. All right. But listen, here's the vow. And I'm going to be serious with this. Here's the vow. I'm reading it off my phone, so if you see me looking down, that's why. Mm -hmm. So here's the vow. I promise, say it. I promise. As your spouse. As your spouse. To fight for you. To fight for you. I promise. I promise. To especially. To especially. Fight me for you. Fight me for you. I now surrender. I now surrender. My rights. My rights. To being right. To being right. For the sake. For the sake. Of us being righteous. Of us being righteous. I repent. I repent. Forever. Forever. Withholding me. Withholding me. From you. From you. I promise. I promise. To share my feelings. To share my feelings. Fellas, we're going to say that again. Mm hmm I promise. I promise. To share my feelings. To share my feelings. And to never. And to never. Hold back. Hold back. From you. From you. 
From this point on. From this point on. There are no more secrets. No more secrets. I give you permission. I give you permission. Ladies, I'm going to say that again. I give you permission. I give you permission. To remind me. To remind me. In a loving way. In a loving way. Not to let my flesh. Not to let my flesh. Take over. Take over. What I have authority of. What I have authority of. Fellas say, I am your king. And you are my queen. Let's rule in life together and fight for us. Let's rule in life together and fight for us. Yeah. Yes. So that's what it's all about, man. Listen. So I will hope y'all got something from all of this. Yes. We really wanted to take some time and do this. Didn't want to make the video too, too long. But, right. you know, we really enjoy talking with y'all and opening up to y'all. So that's what it is. Um, hope y'all enjoy. Oh, don't forget to like. like. And subscribe. and subscribe. Listen, we got a lot of feedback from y'all in inboxes and text messages. So please write it down there. That's down where it there. matters. That's where it counts. That's where we want people to see that we are impacting. Right. And we are doing something. Mm -hmm. I mean, just let us know that we are making a difference. You right. know what I'm saying? We're definitely not getting paid for this, but we know what God told us to do. And that's what it's all about. Obedience. Obedience. Helping marriages be more like God. That's, that's it. it. That's that's our desire. That's what we're trying to do. The good, the bad, the ugly. We in this. We're in this. Yeah. Putting our dirt out there to help others. That's right. We love y'all. <laughs> love you. Y'all have a good night. Bye. Yeah.